I'd like to now do the box or energy diagram for a tetrahedral molecule and we're going to show the hybridization for methane. So um, let's bring that in here. So we're going to draw methane and I'm simply going to draw the um, box diagram in this video or energy diagram and in another video I'll draw the contour diagram. So you remember that carbon has four valence electrons. So I'm just going to draw the, um, the 2s and the 2p. I'm not going to show the 1s. We're just going to look at the electrons that potentially might bond. So um, we've got two electrons on the 2s and one uh, in 2px and one in 2py. Well, obviously, if we're going to bring in four hydrogens, which I'll show over here, the four hydrogens that are eventually going to bond, um, those four electrons are all 1s, and it's going to form four equal bonds, but you can see looking back over at the energy diagram of carbon that we don't have four potentially equal electrons to overlap with. So if I put a hydrogen here and here there would be overlap, but would I put two hydrogen electrons here? No, that's not going to work. So what we really need to do is take one of these electrons from the 2s and we're going to promote it over here. So this is promotion and of course we're adding energy since we're moving one up. So this is the ground state. Make sure you mention that in your uh, exam questions and practices. So this is going to be carbon with a little star. That means excited state. This is 2s. And this is 2p. Um, and what we have now is now we have four unshared electrons that could potentially uh, accept and overlap with the, the four hydrogens. The problem here is these are not all equal. These are four different electrons. The S is different from the P. They're different energy. So that's not acceptable. So what we do is we hybridize. We're going to come up with a hybrid between the S and the P. Okay, and it's going to be in the middle here. And we're going to have four orbitals. These orbitals are not S, they're not P, they're actually in between. So we have one S from here, and then we're going to have one, two, three, P. So we call this SP3, because we have three P orbitals and one S orbital. And then we can bring in those four electrons now that are in hybrid orbitals. And then um, I'll change the color here. This is going to bond in that orbital. This electron from hydrogen will overlap with that orbital. This 1s electron of hydrogen will overlap with our third sp3 orbital. And this hydrogen will overlap with our fourth sp3 orbital. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw in those four electrons showing that they overlap. Okay, and then these four orbitals, these are all bonding orbitals containing bonding electrons. Um, we would also need to label this again carbon and that's in its bonded state. Make sure that that's labeled uh, on any exam question. Okay, um, in the next video I'll show you the contour diagram.